night, everybody. Low times can vary, so we're going to give everybody a moment to arrive. Uh, it depends on the time of day, your internet connection, the alignment of the stars and the planets. And listen, while we wait, you <laughs> may happen to notice we've got Raven Eye over here in the corner. This is actually our YouTube camera, and if we get any usable content today, you may see yourself on YouTube in a few weeks. Uh, and if you want to feel VR famous, you can wave on out and be like, hey, YouTube, how's it going? we got a lot of people in here. we got Humminbird. We've got uh, Big 23. We've got Young. We've got uh, a Peppy 2029. We've got... Uh, Joe Vovich, we've got uh, Shepard, and we've got uh, Scuba Chick. All right, so we've got a lot of people in here. So come on in all space, and if you want to meet any of these people, I think you're going to enjoy it. All right, everybody, let's get you guys in the air. So listen up, avatars. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press that blue and white triangle in your lower left. When you press on this, your main menu is going to appear in front of you as if by magic. That's what magic looks like in VR. It's true. And you're going to see that there's on the lower right, there's a tab that says settings and has a cogwheel directly over it. And when you press on this, you're going to see a list of categories on your left hand side. And the one where there's is the third one down. You can go ahead and click on input. And now you'll see the top center panel has changed and has the word fly at the top of the white circle next to it that'll change your life forever. Because when you push it, it'll turn blue and now your flight will be enabled and you'll be ready to go. So all you have to do is press the close tab in the lower right. That's the X with the circle around it. And you know, you'll be ready to go. So all you have to do now, right, is remember if you're on a two-hand controller, if you squeeze your left trigger, it's gonna cause you to go faster, right? But all you need to do is just push forward on your left thumbstick and look up. And you're gonna go right up into the air and you steer with your head, which can feel kind of strange. It takes a little bit of time to get used to that. So in order to get used to it, what you can do is fly up to this doorway here and fly up to those red rings to the tower where you're gonna discover a type of teleportation that feels like fast flight. We call it zip lining. You'll zip line down that yellow lex, you'll feel a tremendous sense of accomplishment, right? And I'm being told my voice is choppy, so I'm gonna to have to re-enter. I'll be right hang on a second, guys. I'll be right back. Yeah, I can't right, hear you. One properly. second here. How do you fly? He's going to come back and tell us. I couldn't hear him. What even is this? What are they doing? Is anybody else? Is anybody else here on a PC? Okay. No, I'm on a quest. Stick and look up. All right, everybody. Now, uh, if you want to get there in style, what you can do is you can take a Ravenhall Talon hovercraft, right? So what you can do is by going to the uh, out to the runway, you're going to see there's a gray wall at the end of the runway. If you next to the, the next to the gray is an aircraft with an open door if you go into that open door you're going to see on the console is a launch button and this pointer that's coming out of your right hand if you aim that pointer at the launch button your target is going to start to spin and all you have to do is squeeze and release the trigger one time and one of these ships will attach to you there's spinning turbines and engine noise that are a lot of fun to fly around and you have a question to peppy what's up what's up you have your hand uh, up how to fly oh, okay what you want to do is uh, press the blue and white triangle button on your lower left and now you see all the okay. tabs on the bottom there? Yes. You're going to see uh, one that says settings. And once you press uh, that, you'll see I have all these categories on the left hand side. The third category yeah. down says input. Go ahead and press oh, on yeah. input. And you'll see uh, the one that where it says fly. There'll be a white circle. Yeah. And you press, you, you know, once that's pressed and turns blue, you're all set to go. And then all you have to do is just press that close tab in the lower right. And as soon as the menu closes, all you have to do is move forward and look up and you'll be flying. Just move forward and look up. Uh, I'm not flying. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see what we missed, jo Jovich. What you want to do, or Jovovich? Uh, wh where? What is that? That tone? Who's who's doing that? That's really throwing me off. Who's got like some kind of emergency tone thing type thing happening? Is it you, Young? Possibly. All right. Well, cool. All right. Uh, what you want to do is you want to press that main menu button, and let's see if once you press that, uh, once you press yeah. that main menu button. You're going to see uh, that you have that settings tab in the lower right. It's got a cogwheel yeah. directly over it. All right. Yeah. And now uh, go where it says input. It's the third category down yeah, on the left-hand side. And All right. fly, now, now... and I've made fly blue. It's blue. Okay. So yeah. now close that menu, right? And then when you, yeah. when you can see again, turn around and look at me. Walk toward yeah. me, and as you do, look up. There oh! <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. So... Now to get it's weird because you fly with your head. It takes a little takes a little time to get used to that. So what you could do is fly. I get through tunnel this vision. Here. Oh, you get tunnel vision. I get vision? tunnel vision. Do you vision. have the blinders on? Don't know. That can help with that. Oh. When you say you get tunnel vision, does that mean when you move, you get the blinders around the edges yeah. of the screen? All right. Yes. Uh, would you like to turn that off? Yes, please. All right. So what you could do is press on your main menu. All right, Jaden, yeah. back up, please. Uh, when you press on that uh, main menu, right, you've got the uh, settings cogwheel that you press on. And now if yeah. you look where it says comfort, 
the second category down, you're going to see that uh, there's a second option that says blinders uh, and these arrows yeah. next to it. You can turn it off there and then just close oh, your main brilliant. menu and then try to move forward and see if it's any better. Okay, lovely. Okay, cool. Now, does anybody yeah, else have all. any questions about Thank all you. space, about your device, about flying, about teleportation, I, I about how to use the vital? What's, what's that? I have Shepard? a question. Um, I am currently on a PC and I'm trying to switch to my headset. Uh, is there okay. a good place I can go to learn about the controls for a PC? Uh, the controls, well, you know what? Uh, the controls are essentially, um, it's hard to explain. As far as the controls, uh, the main website would have like uh, key mappings for uh, what each thing does, but essentially it's standard in terms of any game. It's a WASD keys. You know, that and the right uh, mouse button will be your, uh, you hold that down as you move. And also the left mouse button will be the teleport button. Uh, and that's the- Okay, so thing. just go to the uh, Altspace but, uh, website? Altvr.com, yes. Thank you so much. All right. And that Someone's got a baby crying. <laughs> yes, I believe so. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, let's see. Ian, hey, what's up? How's it going? Hey. Uh, Jaden, you have a question? What's up? You got your hand up there. Uh, can't hear you, Jaden. You're going to have to unmute yourself by pressing the microphone button at the top of your menu wheel. There you go. Right. What's up, Jaden? So, um, no, I forgot. Okay, well, if it comes back to you, you let me know, okay? All right, All right cool. <laughs> All right, I'll be, I'll be here for the next, uh, you know, 20 minutes or so. All right, so if anybody else has any questions or missed those flight instructions, just let me know. Uh, it looks like Jaden may have remembered it. What's up, Jaden? All right, so can I go fly the jet now? You absolutely yes. can. Uh, do you have flight mode enabled? You need to have I your flight mode so. enabled. Otherwise, if you don't have flight mode enabled, you're going to end up going off the platform and just mowing the grass. And that's how we keep it nice and trim because nobody ever listens to that, right? You got to make sure you got your flight mode enabled or you're using the flight tool. One of those two things will get you up in the air. Uh, but uh, all so you have to I... do is just go over to the runway uh, by the gray wall and go in the open door and press that launch button. And you'll get you right out in one of those ships there. All right. Anybody else have any questions at all? Let's see. We got a uh, young, you have a question? No, okay. I just I saw the voice bubble thing go up, you know, and that says, "Oh, there's sound coming out." Don't want to miss that. All Look right. Oh, well, Common Bird's got the fly tool. Very nice. Well done. <laughs> Very cool. Humbert just learned how to use the fly tool just yesterday. All right. Now, if uh, does anybody have any questions at all about all space or device or flying, teleportation, world building, event hosting, anything to do like that? You know, what happened? Yeah, to uh, I was looking for how do you feel for you downloaded files in your Quest 2? Uh, how do I download files from the Quest 2? I'm not quite no, sure. About that. I've... I downloaded files from the internet, but how do you view them? I don't uh, you see You should any... look into an app. You should look into an app called uh, SideQuest. All right, it's made uh -oh. by a guy uh, named Sean Harris. You'll often see him in the campfire. He's actually an old space local. And uh, what he does is he's made an app that allows you to install things uh, outside of the Oculus Store just by using the SideQuest app. All right, so you might want to try oh. looking into that. All right, it's, okay. and again, it's called SideQuest. All right. Anybody else I have, have any questions at all? Question. What's that, Jaden? There... What's your question? All right. So how do I get to fly thing? How do you get to fly things? Uh, such as what? You can't fly this like... coffee mug. You can throw it, no. but you can't fly it. You can't. There's no, no. way you're going to fly this. The jet. So, all right. The jet. Oh, the jet. All right. All you have to do, right, if you want to fly a Ravenhill Talon hovercraft, is go to the end of the runway, and you're going to see a gray wall there, right? Now, next to that gray wall is an aircraft with an open door, and if you go in through that open door, you notice that pointer that's coming out of your right hand, right? And you see that pointer that's coming out? Aim that at the launch button, and you're going to see it start to spin on the launch button. When it does, just squeeze your trigger one time, right, and release it. So just quick squeeze and release of your trigger, and one of these ships will attach to you. It has the spinning turbines and the engine noise. I think you're going to enjoy it. So give it a try. Just make sure you have flight enabled, or else you're just going to, you know, be going around on the ground, and that's not going to be fun. All right. Anybody else have any questions at all? What's that? Uh, let's uh, scuba check. You have a question? Yeah, I had a quick question. Um, do you sure. always have to enable the flying um, when you enter different worlds, or once you enable it, is it set? until you change it yes and no all right now the way this works is like i first come into all space and my first stops the, the flight academy i come here right and i enable flight and i fly around right but let's say now i go to the campfire as soon as i go to the campfire they don't have flight enabled in that world right so that my flight will automatically be turned off and then if i come back here i've got to re-enable it but 
if I go from this world to another world that has flight enabled, I don't have to reset it. It'll stay open. So like in my home space, oh. I've got flight enabled. I start out there and then I come here. I won't have to re-enable it, right? Only if I go to a oh. world where it's not enabled, you know? So you oh, do okay, get used yeah. to it. It becomes automatic after a while. All and right, right. In thank the beginning, you. I it's appreciate a lot of it. menu hopping, but you won't even think about it after a while, you know? Thanks so much. All right. Oh, no worries. Anybody else have any questions at all? Any, any, you know, questions about all space or about your device or, you know, maybe about event hosting or about world building, anything like that? Food. Yeah. What's the, what's that hummingbird? Um, I had the flight tool. Yes. How do I get rid of it? I get how to do that. Uh, if you point at the flight tool uh, and, and with, make sure you get your, when you point at it, you'll see you get a target on it. It's a circle with lots of triangles pointed toward the circle. Right. So you have to let go of it. Take the grip button off right and pull your hand back behind the pen so try pushing the pen out away from your body like hold the grip down right good now grip the pen now push it all the way away from your body now let go of it by letting go of the grip button right now oh, aim your pointer okay, okay. at the pen right to make it a little bit easier there you go you press the x got button it. right high five yep high five high five you did it you got the bubble on all right so it's kind of the spirit oh. of high five okay all right now does anybody have any questions at all let's see we've got a hand up there from a peppy what's going on you got a question No. Okay. It looked like you were raising your hand. It was a half raise though. It was kind of like just a hand up type of thing. And it could have been, you could have been like, Hey, you know, Hey, what's up? All right, cool. Uh, now if anybody has any questions, just let me know. Uh, cause that's pretty much what we have here. Uh, if you'd want to know more about a, the type of teleportation that we, uh, we call zip lining, we can handle that. If you'd like to know how to use the flight tool, we can show you how to do that. Just let us know. And, uh, but yeah, that's what we have. So if anybody has any other questions, just let me know. Ian, you have a question? No so the voice bubble. Okay, cool. Yeah, the voice bubble throws me. Like in one hand, it's useful because it shows like who's talking, but in the other hand, it makes it look like somebody's talking when they're not. I noticed that during the intro, it kind of threw me off. Yeah, I might have to disable that. Possibly. Yeah, we'll have to see. I'm still playing with it. All right. So uh, let's see, Shepard, do you have any questions? No, it looks like Shepard might be frozen. Got the two D freeze, so it's kind of hard to tell. All right. Well, uh, okay, so if does uh, nobody has any questions at all? Okay, well, I'm, I'm just going to sit here and have coffee then. That's fine. I'll just totally have the coffee. That's what I'll do. Maybe I'll talk to YouTube. Hey, YouTube, how's it going? Look at that. Nobody has any questions. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. I will. All right, cool. <laughs> there we go. All right. Got to stop throwing mugs out the window because I'm going to end up doing that in real life. I just know it. All right. Anybody have any questions at all? Questions about all space, world building, event hosting? I just you know, flew in one like of that? your jets. No, How'd I you just like flew it? the jet. Yay! Brilliant. Yeah, cool. Congratulations. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Cool. All right, okay, Shepard, you I, got this 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 tone, man. This like it's got some kind of Oh, I'm sorry. Tone. No, it's fine. I just like, you know, it's 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 just it sort of feels like oh. a test of the emergency <laughs> shepherd system. Actually, say that. Um, this is a test of the emergency I shepherd know. system. <laughs> this is a test of the emergency shepherd system. Hey, oh, uh, man, I see, that's convincing. <laughs> I liked it. I have the Oculus, but... I have the original Oculus Quest, which works cool. in alt space fine. And then now I'm yes. trying to use my Oculus Quest 2. And basically, mm -hmm. every time I launch the alt space app, it just kind of flashes like alt space and like never really lets me in. And I'm wondering if there's some kind of a problem right, quick, quick with question the Oculus for you. 2. Quick question for you, because I've had similar problems. Now, uh, does it go back to the Oculus main menu mm -hmm. after that? Like if, if, no, I pretty, much I pretty much have to restart the headset. Okay, so it just hangs there. Yeah. All right, there's two ways you can go. All right, the first thing I'd recommend is reinstalling the Allspace app. All right, so uninstall it by pointing at those three dots. You'll, you'll point at the Allspace app. And in the lower right, there'll be these three dots, and you press on that and pull down and select uninstall, right? Okay. Then reinstall the then reinstall the app and see if that doesn't clear it up. If it doesn't, you may have to do a factor reset. Since I got my Quest 2, I've done about four or five factor resets to reinstall all space. It's the only app it seems to be happening with, happening with. and to the best of my knowledge, because I've been going back and forth with the admins, it is something they are working on. All right, so take and how do, I do the fact, how do I do the factor reset? The factor reset, uh, you know the app you use to set your headset up with? The Oculus app? Yeah. All right, yeah. you're going to use the Oculus app, all right, and you're going to basically, uh, you'll select the, the headset that you're using, the Quest 2, 
right? And when you select it, you're gonna see there's more options and you pull down on the more options and you're gonna see an option for factor reset. And then it'll say, are you sure? You'll say yes, but please remember that it's gonna wipe out any pictures that you have on the headset. It's gonna uh, reset all of your settings. You're gonna have to basically like starting all over again. All right, but it, okay. for me, it was the thing that made it work. So, you know, and those two things are fine. not have to update it though. I only updated the one. Oh yeah, it'd also be, that's a good point, you know, it may, not, yeah. it may also be that you need to update alt space as well. And I, you I just see that did option. that. Oh, okay. All right, so then it's not okay. bad. All right. And then yeah. when, when do you have these tutorials? Do you have these scheduled? Uh, yeah, we actually, we have flight time three times a week, but we also have this quest time twice a week. Uh, we have a new event coming out starting in the morning called It's Time to Move twice a week. We have two shark times. Uh, it's shark times a week. That's like a game show. We can build, uh, win world building kits. Uh, but this like open forum question and answer flight academy type thing is something that we do mainly with its flight time. Yeah. Okay. And thanks so much. I'm going to get off here. So my, my shepherd test system stops buzzing. You guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no thanks, problem thanks, at all. Man. It's not that bad. Don't worry about yeah. it, shepherd. You're fine. All right, okay. cool. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. All right. Well, we got about eight minutes left. If anybody has any questions, just let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to sit here and just throw coffee mugs out the window. Oh, I almost hit the cat. That would have been bad. Yeah, I'll probably get a complaint about that. Oh, don't yeah, there we go. You yeah, there, oh, go ahead. You can throw one, too, if you like. There you are. Look at that. You missed me. Oh, no, you actually got me right in the face. There we go. How are you liking your <laughs> Oculus Quest 2, Ian? Are you enjoying the heck out of it? I like it. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm glad to hear That's that. That's right. awesome. You used to do 2D. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot that. the more features I have to get used to. Yeah, it takes some time to adjust, but after a while, you're not even going to think about it. You're just going to be here, and that's uh, kind of what it's all about. Yeah, you know, which is nice. You can you go know. live on Facebook if you want. Yeah, that's true. You can. You can just stream it and broadcast, and anyone that's following you will be able to watch and see what you're doing in here. You know, just yeah. remember you got people watching you because you'd be like, you know, the, you know, that thing about hummingbird that really bothers me. Oh, no, hummingbird's watching. You know, <laughs> and then, so you got to be careful yeah. with that kind of thing. You know, watch out for that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You know, but yeah, you got a lot of different options, which is, you know, which is really great. You know, let's see. We've also got, uh, hey, Hexen, how's it going? Have you learned how to fly in all space, Hexen? And if not, would you like to learn? Looks like you're jumping through menus. Maybe he's like, oh, no, I didn't mean to be here. Okay. That's cool. Came here on accident. That can happen. Yeah. Jumped in to see what this was all about. I get it. I've been there. All right. Okay. Well, if nobody has any more questions, we're just going to have to sit here and, you know, wait it out because I'm here for another you know, seven minutes. half hour. We're not fast. Uh, it did fast. I thought it went kind of slow, actually. Yeah, it went quick, you thought. No, I think it went fast. And time perception's a weird thing, man. You know, sometimes yeah, time flies. Yeah. You know, sometimes it crawls, sometimes. sometimes you throw a clock out a window, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a bad joke, everybody, but I, I had to try. All right, so there we are. Okay, so it looks like uh, things are winding down. That's cool. All right. Again, if you guys are around on Wednesday, come check out It's Shark Time. And if you guys are looking to get a little exercise going on, come check out It's Time to Move. We're airing our first one tomorrow. You want to come watch that? We've got some cool music and some cool light that. effects. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be neat. And uh, we also got a shark time on Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we have also, it's, you know, our usual, it's quest times. And you guys have been to that one on Mondays and Thursdays. Uh, go time is gone. We won't be doing go time anymore. But we also have I Am Possible on Wednesdays. Come check that out. Hey, Saif, how's it going? Have you learned how to fly in all space yet? And if not, would you like to learn? No, you haven't? Would you like to learn it? Oh, awesome. So what you want to do is you want to press that blue and white triangle button in your lower left. Now, when you press on this, you're going to see all these tabs on the very bottom. And one of those tabs is going to say settings. It has a cogwheel, a picture above it. It's kind of hard to miss it. But if you press that settings one, you're going to see all these categories on the left-hand side. And that third category down is going to say input. So if you go ahead and press on input, you're going to see at the top center panel the word do fly. Do you have and a, next quest that'll be a white yourself? Circle. So if you just press on that white circle. And it's going to you have your flight enabled and you're ready to go. So all you have to do is press nice. close in the lower right. And now all you have to do is just move forward and look up. And that's it. So as soon as you get that menu closed, just try moving forward, like walk toward me and look up into the air. And you're going to go right up. Like as you move forward, look up. 
All right. There you go. So push forward and let, there you go. <laughs> That's perfect. All right. And uh, now you steer with your head, which can feel kind of weird. So if you fly out through this doorway here, you can go up to those red rings outside. We eventually reach the tower where you discover a type of teleportation that feels like fast flight. But listen, if you want to get there in style, you're going to notice at the end of the runway is a gray wall. And next to that gray wall is an aircraft with an open door. If you go inside that open door, you're going to find a button that says launch. Just aim the pointer that's coming out of your right hand at that launch button, and you're going to see your target start to spin. All right, and when you see that happening, you just squeeze your trigger one time, and one of these ships will attach to you. They're spinning turbines and engine noise. They're a lot of fun to fly around in. So go ahead and give that a try and get used to it. And if you have any questions, I'll be around here for a few more minutes. All right. Michael, I have a question. Cool. What's that, Humberburn? Every time I set start the headset, yes, I have to redo, even though I sit in the same place, I have to redo yes. the, uh, oh, what do you call the it? Guardian. The Guardian. The Guardian yeah. right. You know, it's Every funny. Time the Guardian will sometimes visit? remember where it is, uh, uh, and sometimes it won't. Uh, it, changing light levels can have a lot to do with it, and also the way you're positioning the headset, you may not be giving it enough time to recognize your environment, or it could be that the light level is very low in your area. You know, that's possible, too. If you're doing it in the dark, it, it's going to be harder for the headset to see where it is. Uh, so you may, it may want you to do the Guardian thing again because to Oculus, that's no big deal. I prefer it when it remembers my Guardian because yeah, I get in faster too. that way, you know. <laughs> but uh, so, you know, it's kind of like it, there's no guarantee as far as that's concerned, you know. So be prepared to reset it every time, oh, you know, which is a pain in the neck. Was, you know, you give yourself wrong. a few it, extra minutes. It, you do get used to, to it. Retain, it doesn't seem to retain my stationary Guardian as much as my room scale guardian for some reason you know what though i think light level has a lot to do with it because in the summertime let me tell you something i had uh you know i i used the headset from three different locations right and it remembered the stationary in two locations plus the room scale you know wow. uh, for like a month for like a month all for august man august was a good month for the quest <laughs> it really was <laughs> didn't ha didn't have to set my guardian once during that time it was beautiful i enjoyed that you know but as soon as uh you know as soon as august ended and the light levels started getting shorter the days started to get shorter well that's what mm -hmm. happened you know as i had to reset it every time so that could happen you have a question there uh, have to get an oculus link cable which i don't have yeah the link cable is great it really is it offers mm -hmm. up a lot of different options you had a, you had a question mm -hmm. there uh, uh, uh I just, what's up outside there there are three blue pods teleporting yes, three posts yeah yes. where do they go uh well let's see that's a good question one of them goes to a fireworks show which is pretty neat okay uh another one goes to a world where you can uh where you can ride down in this boat uh toward the end it's a good experience there and another one goes to the campfire which is a popular meeting place in all spaces where everyone kind of comes together and then also okay. out there you have the two ships with the blue lights coming out of them uh one of them okay. goes to lake ravenhall where they got like a scavenger hunt and the other one goes to the rooftop pavilion which is a hub of okay. all different worlds that all space has you know and that's okay. about it thank you you're this very has welcome been very helpful i usually oh, go in the rec you. room i usually go oh, cool. in the rec room and play with all the kids <laughs> yeah. yeah okay well the rec room's very popular you know good yeah. stuff yeah. Okay. I haven't been there too much Thank myself, you, you know. It's, all right, you're very welcome. Oh. I hope you enjoyed it. All thank right. You. So let's see. We are about out of time, everybody. So I want to thank you all for coming. To it's flight time. We'll be running this again. The next one's going to be on Tuesday Bye. at 7:30 Eastern. All right. Bye. Thanks for coming. Bye. All right. When it's, the next, it's time to move. Oh, that's, that's going to be tomorrow. tomorrow. With any luck, we're okay. working on it. And we're hoping the first one's going to be tomorrow. You know, we're the very first one on the set and you know, getting everything working, you know, so that's when that's going to be. So come on out and see us. All right. So if you right, like for coming, of... everybody. Oh, yeah. Thank what? you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll see you all later. Thanks for coming. Okay. Uh, bye. Bye. bye.